Yo, what's up, YouTube? What up, friends and fam? It's your boy, Kenny Lucas, back at it with another YouTube video. Let's go! <clears throat> Alright, so I just discovered something that it's going to help somebody out tremendously, if not all y'all watching this video. And that is, we must release what we want to possess. And think of it and not in the material sense, because it, it, it will... It, it will accumulate into the material sense naturally, but don't think of it in the material sense right off the rip. The way I'm looking at it is this. If I want to feel love, then I have to give out love no matter fucking what, as frequently as possible, or else karmic debt is going to punish me for not giving out that love. And I have an example for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, say you and your girlfriend wake up in the apartment, in the house, whatever, she says, take out the trash, or, like, she gives you, like, you, you think it's an attitude, you know what I mean? It's like, what the fuck, like, is that an attitude? Like, instead, see past that attitude, which really it's not an attitude at all, it's just, like, you know, communication. And be like, you know what, I still love you, you still love me, and that's it. Like, don't, don't like, hold it in and be a fucking passive-aggressive person and be like, oh, I fucking hate this bitch, I'm gonna cheat on her, whatever. Instead, say, I still love you, you still love me. Like, in your mind, you know what I'm saying? Because your vibe attracts your tribe. So if you're always giving out, like, oh, fuck this bitch, like, fuck this bitch, like, your vibe attracts your tribe, and you're going to get more of that fucking hate. Versus when you give out that love, and you give out that love, and you give out that fucking love, you're going to get more and more love. You're going to get more and more love in your life. And this isn't, like... This is like real shit, you know what I'm saying? This is like, they explain this in quantum physics all the fucking time. They're like discovering it now, even though we've known it for thousands of years. And Confucius also said it too, that we have to re release what we want to possess. And that's why I said like work on the mental game first before the material thing, because if you don't have the mental part down, then you start giving away all this money because you want to feel abundant yeah that's 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 great but you're kind of like going past the first step of mentally first like preparing yourself in all realms around you that way you're not affected when somebody fucking fucks you over at, when you give them something you know what i'm saying because you're stepping over your boundaries you're stepping over the line you're not practicing the first step of, ab of abundance and that is to re release what we want to possess and I have another example for you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just seen a dude on the corner right here smoking a cigarette. And naturally, my mind goes to, like, look at this. This is, Look at this dirtbag smoking a cigarette. And in all reality, I'm just like, you know what? He must be going through something. I know he's going to get it on the next cig cigarette to quit, man. I, 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 I feel it in him, you know what I'm saying? Like, cultivate that winning atmosphere around us, guys. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about shooting out that love and you're gonna get that love back shooting out that fucking the winds and the winds are gonna circle right back around right on our lap to the point where we're gonna have so many winds we're not gonna know what to do with it man so with that like comment share and subscribe i love you guys peace